everybody, Dale and Leanna here from Moments of Adventure, and we just spent a couple of days in Las Vegas with our camper this time. Hey you guys, Dale and Leanna here. Um, we are going, about to go through Vail Pass in Colorado, um, but I just wanted to share what this looks like when you travel mid-April. Like, it doesn't look like this all the time. Like, it could be beautiful or it could be snowy. Oddly enough, we've been through way worse on Vail Pass. Dead stop, Vail Pass, April. It's so supposed fun. to be spring. It's supposed to be spring. It's supposed to be spring. We are at a dead stop. So we spent the night here in the Costco parking lot. So this axle, the center bolt broke and made this axle slide backwards which the tire rubbed on the jack, tore the tire up, broke this, and we lost half our springs. This is supposed to be an eight pack, it is now a four pack. So we need new springs, this side and the other side, because we couldn't find any eight packs, so I'm replacing them with six packs until we get home. Um, so right now, I need to take this spring off, that spring is already off, and I need to put the new springs on and bolt it all up. Cool. So no more Ooga Doogas. Why? This is called a torque oh, okay. extension. So no more Ooga Doogas. It only allows it to get so tight. Oh. Vegas in the RV. It's a first. Yes, Oasis RV Resort, South Strip, Vegas. Yes. It was interesting. No, it was a good time. I had a really good time. Really good time. Did you have a good time? I had a really good time. <laughs> Check-in was very easy, except when you make the turn into the RV park <laughs> underneath the arches, be careful. You, you got to be looking at your left. We had a uh, someone that shall not be named pull in and within millimeters of taking the side of his camper out. Cut it a little close. Now, in fairness, it looked like they had done some tar work and they had some of it portioned off where you could not drive on. Yeah. But it it makes it difficult for larger size yeah. rigs. Just pay attention. Now the rigs that were in the campground though, Beautiful. oh my gosh, you had everything from a pop up to to a half million dollar diesel pusher. No, the the R V park is huge. A ton of R V campsites. It was nice though. It was nice and clean. They had a gorgeous pool with a hot tub. They have a, a family pool and an adults only pool. Funny thing is, there are more people in the adult pool than there were the kid pool. There are only a couple of kids there. Um, and then there's a hot tub, seats about 10. Yeah, which is so, what? One, but, we figured out 1% of the population. Yeah, <laughs> and, for, and here's my theory. And those of you who create campgrounds should really listen to my theory. Because the more campsites you have, you should have a your pool hot tub that will accommodate that many. So when you have almost a thousand campsites, you should really have a hot tub that will seat more than ten people at a time, yeah. or have multiple. Or a couple of hot tubs, yeah. Yeah, that would have solved the problem. But, but palm trees everywhere. Yes, and really nice lighting landscape. Yes. It just you know made the trees glow at night. It was just a really pretty, and it also helped that. The temperature was phenomenal this while we were here. Yeah, mid 70s in the in the morning and later in the afternoon. High 
you know, high noon. It was in the 80s. So, it was, But it was fun. Pros and cons. Pros. A lot cheaper. Way cheaper. 230 bucks for two nights. Um, and you're not going to get that unless you have comped rooms on the strip. And we got to sleep in our own bed. Yes, with our own sheets and our own space. The biggest con is just the ease of getting this stuff. When you're on the strip, there's food 24 hours. There's always something to do. Um, at the RV park, you had to plan food. You had to plan going going anywhere. Yeah, you actually had to jump in the car and drive. Now, we probably could Uber. You could Uber, but... But it's going to be a little expensive, and it's not a five-minute Uber ride either. But, yes, you're, you're not immersed in everything, so you can't just walk out your hotel door and walk downstairs and get a drink. Maybe watching a football game from a tailgate instead of being in the stadium. Exactly. That's a good, that's a good analogy. Yeah, thanks. But I would do it again, just not every time. I would do it again. The dog areas, and I know this isn't going to be for everybody, but the dog areas smell bad. Like, really bad. Now, we couldn't smell it from our camper or anything, but when no, you're but if you standing go to right the dog now, area, you don't want to stay there. No. It stinks. And there's not like... There's not poop It's not like people around. left their poop out. No. It just smells like soaked in nastiness. Yeah. Uh, but we did go to Stevenson Casino. We're in Silverton Casino and Lodge, which is right next to a Bass Pro. One of the reasons we went there is there's supposed to be $5 craps, which there was not. There was $10 craps, though, which is pretty good. Is it, is it coincidence that all the fish are silver in Silverton Casino? They did have a fish tank with a mermaid. Real friendly. Everybody was friendly. Okay, I know when you go to Vegas and you play, you do expect to win. We were off strip. I had expectations to win. And I did, I did not. Neither did I. Bummer. In fact, you hit a couple of jackpots and there were five dollars. Three dollar bonus. <laughs> That's crap. So yeah, not jackpot, but bonus. Yeah. She must have put more than $900 in the slot machine. Must because, have, because I would have been excited. Well, I got excited when I did hit a $20 jackpot. Same. And then I lost it. <laughs> um, but we did go to another speakeasy this time. We hit Mas Por Favor, which is very interesting because it's in a little strip mall. And it's a taco place. Mas Por Favor, and we've been calling it the cocaine bar all day long, because when you walk down the hall, apparently it's staged like a Mexican cocaine drug cartel uh, speakeasy. But yeah, the, cool. the restaurant itself was literally in a strip mall, and you walk in, and it's a Mexican restaurant, a, a place that looks like I would go get a breakfast burrito every day very unassuming but you go off to the left and there's dark dark hallway I mean pitch black hallway yeah. and you walk through the door and all of a sudden there's a pretty cool speakeasy behind the place which was busy well, yeah it was very busy no you one was in the restaurant reservations by the way 
Yeah, nobody was in the restaurant. They were all back in the speakeasy. Um, very good tacos, though. I think I had the Mo Boo. Oh, that's, that was my favorite. Oh, there's a Thai one, too, that was yeah, very You ordered good. me the chicken, which is phenomenal. Very good. Very good. Chicken street tacos is what you Drinks had. were very good. They, they were not strip price drinks. So I think mine was 16 bucks, which, yeah, is expensive, but it's not 20 or 25 True. And I did take a shot in a jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> How fun is that? How was that? It wasn't bad. It was a, it was a very, it was a smooth tequila, but I'm not sure it was full. Like a shot is a lot of liquid, and I'm not sure it was a full liquid shot. But the fact that they presented to you in your jalapeno was, I thought it was cool. Yeah. No, very cool little place. Food, great. Drinks, very good. And just a neat experience. Yeah. We did go to Mandalay Bay. I didn't win there either. I also got bonuses at Mandalay Bay on the, my, my slots that were like $3. It was a bust gambling bust. game. We finally get to put Nevada on. of an exact science which I did not get perfect but that's okay Nevada check so we are back on the road again two nights at the Oasis RV Resort we're back on the road headed north to Sand Hollow Utah if you've stayed in an RV park in or around Las Vegas that you really liked let us know because kind of liked it and we want to check out check it out again so it would be nice to do it from a different perspective so if you have a good one make sure to leave it in the comments below if you like this video even if you didn't like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe we are on our way to a thousand subscribers and I cannot wait until we get there 667 so. subscribers today so make sure if you're watching this video subscribe to the channels to help us get there and like it and share it with your friends. What else are you going to watch? CSI? All right, well, thanks you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. See you on YouTube. Dale. That's a funny. It's not. Did I break it? Why it broke it? Wow. Oh my god, see, this is why pushing buttons is bad. I'm trying to reset it. I might have to take the battery out. This is why we can't have nice things. Oh no! director.